Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to go through how to create a Hotjar account or how to set up a new organization or site within Hotjar, and then how to actually embed that Hotjar tracking code onto a HubSpot hosted page, as well as create some heat maps and session recordings to start gathering data on how people are interacting with your site. So to give you a brief overview of Hotjar, so essentially this is a great website uh, that lets you understand um, where people are clicking, how they're browsing your website, where they're really scrolling. Um, you can even even use it to gather feedback on um, maybe some new product that you've just released or some new uh, interface you just released, or maybe you did a rebrand and you want to know are people really enjoying it or they're not really enjoying it. So Hotjar uh, is a really powerful tool um, just to see where people are actually even just clicking. Let's say I was really wanting to click on this dog over here. Um, and then, you know, maybe I noticed that a lot of people are actually clicking on this dog. So maybe for some reason, right, uh, people think that this dog, you know, is interactable or interactable, if that's a, if that's a word. Um, and so th the idea is that, okay, well, what if our developer team somehow, you know, changed this so that when you clicked on the dog, like this race started or, you know, some pop up or some chat bubble appeared or, you know, you, you get the idea. Um, Hotjar is great because you can actually start with uh, no cost. Um, you can create a free account and start uh, putting that, that tracking code on your site right away. Um, so this is the main website. I'm going to sign into our account. Password. Uh, so right now we have a few uh, other organizations in here. I'm actually going to add a new site. Um, so to do that, you have, you're going to look in the top left corner up here. Again, this is some site dashboard. We'll get into that later. Um, I'm going to add a new site. Um, the website is going to be, you know, let's 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 use uh, https slash slash www dot um, let's just do something generic, domain.com. Again, I'm not going to be able to go through this entire thing because I don't actually own domain.com, but we'll use this for the purpose of this tutorial. So it's domain.com. I'm going to say it's a consulting organization. Uh, I'm going to put it under ourselves. Um, and then I'm going to add this site. So, okay, so now the site's added. Um, you'll notice it's added down here, uh, but we haven't installed the tracking code and it hasn't been verified. So I'm going to click on this tracking code button right here in the row that is the domain.com. And then I'm going to copy this. So this is all of the hot jar tracking code that you're going to need to start uh, creating heat maps and session recordings. Um, notice it'll say paste the hot jar code into the head of every page you wish to track visitors and collect feedback and then verify your installation. So step one, I'm going to copy this and go over to HubSpot. And then I'm going to go to the portal settings, the left side, I want to go down to website, go to pages, you know, and let's pretend that I was, you know, hosting domain.com on HubSpot. I'd find site header HTML, you know, maybe there's other tracking codes here. I'm going to ignore those. And then I'm going to press space and then I'm going to press control V to paste it in. And so that is the hot jar tracking code uh, for the site domain.com. Um, I could press save. That would go to all pages and all domains on whatever this HubSpot portal is. And then once that is there, you know, you can even go into, you know, that page and inspect the page and find this script here just to check. Um, but you can also then go back here to Hotjar and verify the installation. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to enter or it's going to auto populate that uh, website URL that you gave earlier. And what's going to happen is when you press verify installation, it's going to open this pop up. The pop up is just going to be that domain that you entered. Um, and so basically the idea is that it's going to check this page and verify that the hot jar script that you added to this page is now on here. So Assuming that, you know, I own domain.com and I added the, the correct Hotjar tracking code, um, I would get a nice green check mark. And then this would go from, <clears throat> excuse me, this would go from a nice orange to, you know, a pretty green to verify that, yes, I am now able to start tracking. Um, 
but obviously I cannot do that. Uh, but then, okay, well, let's assume that, you know, domain.com is live, we own it, the tracking code is all hunky-dory. Um, I'm actually going to want to go and, you know, let's make a, a heat map, right? Um, so to make a heat map, I'm going to go into this heat maps tab right here. I'm going to create new heat map. Uh, I want to name it, you know, let's say we wanted to do a heat map for the homepage, right? Pretty basic. It's the first thing people are going to see. On a free account, we have to use the basic settings. Um, we're going to do a specific page because we are doing a homepage heat map. And that's going to be something like HTTPS colon slash slash www dot, you know, homepage dot com, right? Keep it as simple URL match. And then I'm going to create the heat map. So basically what's going to happen is assuming like all of this is in the correct account, right? Uh, as soon as people start visiting, you know, homepage.com, Hotjar will start tracking, you know, how far down they scroll through the page, um, you know, what they click on, what they don't click on, and really where people are actually uh, getting to on that page. You know, here's uh, an example of, you know, a page. If you want to view the heat map just to give you an idea of what it actually look like. Uh, we get to see, okay, well, they're clicking, you know, on this navigation tab right here. They're really clicking on download the guide right there. So we got six clicks from that, you know, getting some clicks over here and here. People are clicking there. So it's 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 color-coded to show you kind of the hot spots uh, where people could be clicking. And it's like, okay, well, if they're clicking on marketing and AR, VR, you know, consistent amount, maybe we should include those as, you know, links to, uh, you know, some sort of, um, sports marketing and AR VR, you know, courses or something like that. So that's that's the heat map. Uh, the page can't be too long, and, and there are some limitations in terms of, uh, you know, like fixed elements on a page um, because this is a static screenshot of the page. Um, you can change uh, the screenshot of the page. Like, let's say, you know, you move some tiers around, yada yada yada. You can kind of resubmit the page for a new screenshot. That can be done in this gear icon right here and just do retake screenshot. Uh, so that, those are heat maps. And then again, you can kind of just see a broken down by device. You know, you can choose or do I want to filter by clicks or, you know, mouse movements or just, you know, how the, the scroll heat map is in terms of, you know, do people even get past, you know, the hero banner and what's the drop off, you know, from hot to cold. Um, recordings, the other major tool in Hotjar. Basically, as soon as you start uh, a recording, right, um, again, on the free account, you get 100 recordings at a time in batches of three because you have a max of 300 recordings that you have available to you. Um, on this account, we'll do it where they visit any page. I want to click, or I want to record, sorry, only click and scroll sessions. I can choose to only record sessions that are longer than 30 seconds in case I want to kind of cut back on the potential number of recordings that are like two seconds or one second or five seconds, you know, because people just jump to the page and then leave immediately. Uh, so maybe I don't, I don't even want to record those at all and count them against my quota. Um, I can record keystroke data. Normally I leave that off though because of privacy concerns. And then as soon as I'm done, I'll start recording. And so that'll record all of the visitor sessions that, you know, uh, people come onto a page that has the hot jar tracking code on it. At the end of the day, you can watch all of these recordings and get a better idea of how specific pages are working or just get a better idea of, okay, well, when someone's visiting, you know, eight pages, what does that actual, you know, customer or applicant or donor or, you know, consumer journey even look like from, you know, point A to point D, right? And so you can kind of watch the actual journey uh, they take um, down your funnel potentially. So those are the main two tools uh, in Hotjar. They're super powerful. There's a few more, but I'm not going to delve into those because I think heat maps and recordings are kind of enough to chew on, um, and they're pretty easy to set up. Again, if you're on a free account, you still have a lot of capability here. Um, it's just a matter of actually making sense of the data and making sure that you kind of uh, dedicate time to reviewing you know, potentially hundreds of recordings and really taking a look at those heat maps that you set up uh, and make changes as needed.